Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. The operation is in full swing and one of the big questions on everybody's mind is what are we going to spend our 100 free stars on and just generally what are we going to spend stars on? I kind of covered this topic a little bit in my first video about this operation but I decided I'd go a little bit more in depth into it in this video. So if you guys are looking for a good little plan or some items that you might want to be picking up for this operation using your stars then be sure to watch this video. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at our sponsor for today's video and then we will move on to our topic. The sponsor for today's video is the TheLovelySkinPort.com. They sponsored me a lot in the past and I am still obviously supporting them quite heavily because they're a great site to use. They have cheap prices on all their items and a huge variety of items to pick from. Over 100,000 items on the site, which is huge. They have a massive inventory, a ton of really cool items, and of course great prices, all on a really nice minimalist UI to make your process very easy. So with that being said, they're a great site to use. Be sure to check them out using the link in the description below. All right, so I've had a lot of people asking me what they should spend their stars on, and that's what this video is basically going to cover, what you should spend any Operation Stars that you get on. So the first main thing to talk about is the star-backed economy and the items backing in terms of value. So that's kind of a thing that I also covered in the first video, but to kind of explain it more in depth, basically because you can put money into stars, that means that the money is equal to the stars in whatever exchange rate they actually currently have. So currently, if you want to go ahead and buy one star, the cost is 79 USD. If you want to buy 10 stars, it costs 499 USD, a discount of 35%. And if you want to buy 100 stars, it costs 44.99 USD at a discount of 45%. All right, so let's do some math. So in a vacuum, if we are getting rid of any discounts, that means that two stars is going to be about $1.71 with tax. And that means that two stars equaling one case means that one case equals $1.71 with tax. However, you might be thinking this isn't exactly accurate, especially looking at the current case price. And that's because there is, in fact, discounts. Obviously, you can buy 100 stars instead of just buying one star, which will give you a discount of 45% on those stars. So if we go ahead and apply that to the case itself, after a 45% discount, we can see that the 45% discounted price is very close to the current case price. And obviously, there's a few numbers that I didn't round up, which makes it actually even more accurate. But as we can see, people are obviously going to be buying cases at the most discounted price they possibly can in relation to star prices. And this makes sense. Why would you not want to buy a case the cheapest price you possibly can buy it at. So we can basically set a price floor, if you will, at the 95 to 97 cent range, which is basically going to be a floor that the case can't go under because it's supported by the star economy. At the moment though, this also acts as sort of a price ceiling and a price floor at the same time because no one's going to be buying cases on the Steam market if they're more expensive than what they can spend on cases in game. This is the same reason we see sticker capsules available in game and other in game items only holding a pretty solid price for their entire lifetime because because there's no reason for them to rise if people can just buy them in-game for a cheaper price than's currently listed on the Steam market. Now one important thing to mention is that this is actually more likely a price ceiling rather than a price floor, because the price floor means that it can't go under that price, which is actually untrue. If cases lose the demand bumping them up in price, then that means that people aren't going to be buying them on the Steam market at all, which means anybody that owns a case is going to have to sell it for a lower price in order to actually get the case out of their inventory. So that means that the price floor doesn't really exist as people aren't going to pay more on the Steam market, but they will be willing to pay less. To explain this a bit more in depth, let's look at the slide capsule. This is kind of an undesirable capsule. There isn't a really a lot of profit to be made from it at all. So it does actually commonly sell on the Steam Marketplace for under the $1.07 value, which is its current value if you were to buy it in game. This is why I say this case thing is not really a price floor and is rather a price ceiling because people are willing to buy it on the Steam Market for cheaper than its in-game price, but not higher. But we're here to talk about investments, so why would I spend so much time talking about the case itself in relation to its star price if I wasn't going to explain it as an investment? Well, the thing is, it is actually a pretty solid investment, as it is a pretty solid amount of value that you get out of each of your two stars. You're getting pretty much 95 cents out of two stars if you are to buy an actual item with your stars, which is obviously a little bit of a downgrade as two stars is going to cost you a bit more if you're just buying with two stars, but if you're buying with the 100 star pack where it's at a 45% discount, you're actually getting pretty much an equal value trade on the cases specifically as they are backed by that star value price. Compare this to if you were to buy stickers for one star, for example, a lot of the time you're not actually going to get a sticker that's worth the same amount as the star that you're putting in because you're going to have to be paying around 79 cents for each of those stars if you don't have any tax, and a lot of those stickers are actually worth a lot less, around 20 cents. Now the reason the cases are such a good investment is because you are getting an equal value trade. You're paying two stars and you're getting exactly what those two stars are essentially worth as long as you're buying them at the 45% discount. Now the cool thing is, after this operation is over, that price ceiling 
feeling that we have is now gone. People aren't going to buy anything in-game because it's not going to be available in-game, which means that the Steam Marketplace price of these items is going to be able to rise without having a price ceiling. Now this may sound like a pretty exciting prospect, but there is a little bit more to this than just spending all your stars on cases. Now while spending all your stars on cases is still a pretty solid option, as you are pretty much going to make money on them as long as you hold them past the operation, the more important thing to talk about here is that it's not actually the best way to make profit during this operation. For example, look at the stickers. If you spend one star on the sticker and you end up getting a Battle Scarred Hollow, which is worth around $4, you actually make a ton of money on that, because the one star that you spent is worth around 39 cents after tax, and the Battle Scarred Hollow is worth $4, which means you make a massive amount of money around a 1,000% profit. But this is obviously a bit unrealistic, because you can't expect to always get a Battle Scarred Hollow out of the stickers. However, it does mean that there is still a potential for higher profit margins than what you're actually getting out of just buying cases itself. Now the same goes for the Operation Collections in terms of profit margins. If you're spending 4 stars on an Operation Collection roll, and you end up with something like an Op Fade or one of the other reds, you're ending up with a massive profit margin. At the 45% discount, the Op Fade's price is close to 100,000% of the input price that you're putting in, which is around $1.08 at 45% discount for 4 stars. Yes, you heard that correctly, 100,000%. That's pretty insane, obviously, but again, super unrealistic because you can't just spend 4 stars and get an Op Fade. I'm sure there were a few people out there that were able to pull that off, but that's not realistic to expect for everybody, and really what you're going to expect to get out of 4 stars is probably a gray. Again, this is pretty much going to be next to impossible, but there is still a chance, so it is important to still mention that. So let's answer the question, what should you spend your 100 stars on that you get for free? Well, if you're looking for the most safe option, then it's 100% going to be cases. There's going to be profit to be made there after the price ceiling is removed, after the operation ends, and they are going to trade at a pretty solid price equal to the star cost. So that makes them a very safe option option, and they are going to be the best way to turn your stars into actual value. However, it might not be a terrible idea to even throw a few rolls at one of those collections, or just maybe throw a few rolls at those stickers, as they still are going to be fairly cheap at 4 stars and 1 star respectively, and they can net you a huge profit margin if you're lucky. Again, that's going to depend on luck, and it's pretty much a gamble, so it's not going to be safe, but it is still going to be an option if you're looking to make really large profits and don't really care about more risk. Now, the projected values for cases and for the other operation items post-operation are pretty much very hard to tell. However, what I've been going off of is looking at the Shattered Web prices and then subtracting a few percentage points, around 35% off of the Shattered Web operation prices, and that's pretty much what we're looking at for the post-op prices of Broken Fang. To wrap this up into a nice neat little package, basically if you're looking for the safest possible option in order to turn your stars into direct value, it's 100% going to be cases, but if you're looking to go ahead and get maybe a crazy high roll while taking in some more risk, you're going to want to go ahead Ahead and spend some more on maybe some collections or on to the stickers themselves. Now for agents specifically, because I know some people are going to be asking about them, agents are really kind of a red herring. A lot of people tend to think they're a good investment just because they're new and unique, which really doesn't really make much sense as they don't really have any impact on your gameplay experience as much as a skin or a sticker would. I've stood by the fact that agents aren't a great investment ever since Shattered Web came out, and I still think they're not going to be that great after Broken Fang, as there hasn't really been a large impact or change on agents that has made them a better thing to buy. However, if you guys are looking into buying agents, you can go ahead and do so. Don't have to listen to me. That's just what I think about them. I would go ahead and buy cases with your 100 stars that you get for free, as that's going to be the safest form of value. But again, you can go ahead and throw for some rolls if you want to go ahead and maybe either make a lot of money or take on some risk and lose some money. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully it enlightened you a little bit about the star value and the star backing and maybe what you should spend your 100 free stars on. If you guys are looking for more content on the operation, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be having a lot more content for this operation coming out in the future. The next video is going to be a bit more of a deep dive into the collection skins themselves and buying them on the Steam Marketplace, so if you guys aren't interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in talking about the operation and discussing some of the investments, I have a great Discord server in the description below that you can use in order to, you know, hang out with the community and discuss what other people are buying and what you are looking to buy. And if you're looking to go ahead and check out my Twitter, that's also an option as well. And of course, check out Skimports. See you all next time, be safe, and go ahead and make some big profit this operation. Peace.